How do you pack for a destination elopement or wedding? There is so many different forms of weddings and elopements and things to pack, but the most important thing is to pack your essentials. So today we're gonna go over what I pack for destination elopement and some weddings, why I do what I do, and hopefully you'll learn a little bit about how to film or photograph and pack for destination elopements or weddings. So let's get to it. So when you're traveling for a destination elopement, it is really important to make sure you have the essentials, but not too much stuff. When I'm packing for an elopement, I make sure that I don't have an overzealous amount of things because I'm probably not gonna use all of that stuff. I, I like to bring only the things I'm going to be using and I've done a few destination elopements and weddings, so like I have a good idea for what I wanna bring. So hopefully this helps you a little bit understanding as to what you should or shouldn't bring. But again, this all depends on the type of thing you are shooting. If you're just shooting an adventure elopement with just two people, you really only need a few things because it's just two people. If you're filming a full on destination wedding, like luxurious million dollar, half a million dollar, you know, destination, a wedding in Italy or something at some villa. This may not be the setup that you're looking for because you're probably gonna be bringing a lot more stuff. But if this is just your you know, normal adventure elopement or wedding abroad with that's you know more of the traditional sense, not your luxury style thing, then this is the perfect video for you. And if even if it is a luxury wedding, this still might help you a little bit so you can understand what you can or cannot bring or should or should not bring. When you're traveling for a destination elopement, you need to make sure you get your visa if it is needed. Most countries do allow you to fly your drone own. Some do not at all. Some require you to register. So make sure you look up the local laws to see if you can even bring your drone because places like Mexico, you're not allowed to fly your drone for commercial purposes if you're not a citizen. So I wouldn't even bring my drone if that were the case. So you have to understand what gear you can or cannot bring and bringing less gear also allows them to ask less questions when you get to that country. Even if you have a visa or you don't need one, it can cause some problems at customs if you have like five cases of gear year because then they're going to think you're coming for a lot more than just a one day event and it can cause some problems getting you into the country and that's kind of a big deal. So first when you're planning what you want to bring you need to figure out what you're going to put your gear in. So for me I have a backpack here. This is the Peter McKinnon Nomadic Bag. I really like this bag right now, but I'll probably end up upgrading at some point because I really do like this wandered bag. It's a super nice bag that is expandable so you can fit more stuff in it. And I find that to be really nice. The next thing here is my Pelican Air carry-on case. This is a super essential piece of gear that I bring for every destination and elopement. Between my backpack, and my Pelican case, this is the perfect amount of space to put all of my stuff. And the reason I say that is because I don't bring a butt ton of stuff. I literally bring my essentials and backups and things like that, which we'll go over. But having something like this Pelican case is super nice because it allows you to have a lot of space for your essentials, but not, you know, it's not too big where you have to check it. So you're gonna always be able to have it on your person so that you don't lose it or have the chance of getting it lost or stolen. And then also I recommend getting an AirTag or a Samsung tag, whatever phone you have, putting it in your Pelican case just in case something does happen, you have eyes on it wherever it goes. So let's start with the gear that I bring and then we'll talk about how I pack it into these two things to make sure I have everything that I need for a destination elopement or wedding. So number one, most important right here, you need a camera and a lens. If you don't have that, you're probably not gonna shoot anything. That's obvious. Secondly, I always bring a backup camera with me for both a second angle for video or a backup camera just in case something happens. I put the cage on this one for now, but it'll always go on my main camera here. I just put it on here because it's compact and it fits in my case better. While we're on the topic of the cage, I also bring my Ninja 5 monitor, which is super nice to have because I can shoot in ProRes for video. And then I also bring the accessory cables and the batteries and things that go in here. So next, what I bring is an additional lens, of course, which is on the camera I'm shooting on right here. And that's gonna go on my secondary camera right here. I also bring a third camera and a third lens that is going to be for photo purposes because we do photo and video. For mics, I have a shotgun mic, which works really nice. I have my wireless DJI mic. 
And then I also bring a lav mic, which you can't really see. But I bring a lav mic so that I have multiple sources of audio and that shoots 32-bit, whereas my wireless DJI doesn't. Uh, but I also have multiple options for mics if I need one, and I can use one for BTS, I can use one for the couple. I have plenty of options to pick from and I get good audio regardless. So having backups is imperative. You'll start to see that as we go through my gear that I have backups of basically everything. The only thing we don't have a backup of is the drone, but that's fine. Uh, the place I'm going to, I can bring it, so I will. I have my drone with controller. I will potentially bring my two LED panel lights just for extra lighting if I need. This is basically just for a backup tripod in case mine gets lost or stolen because my tripod does go in my suitcase, which gets checked because it is quite large and I don't like it in my backpack. It's kind of annoying. I also bring a selfie stick for my 360 cam because I like bringing that and utilizing it as part of my films. This is a flash for photography, just in case we do need it if it's dark. We're, we also have the accessory kit for the flash. I bring an extra battery pack for the travel day and other things that it may be needed for. And then I also bring a butt ton of hard drives. So this hard drive is used to back up my data for a backup solution. This is meant to be used for in-field backup on the day of. I also have a solid state drive, which is up in the computer. And then I also keep the data on the SD cards until it's finally transferred onto my computer. And then I still keep it on my SD cards because it's a good version to have a good backup because it's the raw footage. Your cameras and your data are the two most important things of shooting something internationally and in general. So make sure you have backup, backup, backup because it's the last thing you need is to lose your data or your camera. You need those things or else you don't have a final product. That's just the way it is. On top of extra SD cards that I bring with me, I also bring a crap ton of batteries. There's like eight batteries here for my camera, even though I usually only go through one. I also have a battery charger just in case. I've got miscellaneous cables. I've got my matte box with an extra ND filter just in case something happens. And then I've got another ND filter for my main secondary camera. And underneath my monitor, I've got my gimbal stuck in here. Believe it or not, the gimbal does fit quite nicely as an L shape. And then I kind of just take it apart. I put things in different spots so that it fits nicely. So all of what I just showed you basically goes in this Pelican case other than my main camera and my drone. So it is a really nice case to have to fit basically everything else that I'm going to need for the day. Now, then we have the backpack. So I always like to keep hand sanitizer, tissues, other things like that in my battery pack, in my backpack, because I'll always have this on my person. And then I also like to put my main camera that goes in my backpack, as well as my drone with its controller. And obviously my laptop and charger will go in there and my tech case, which has extra batteries, my flight stuff and things like that and my passport. So with everything I just showed you, that's basically everything I bring with me on a destination alone or wedding, which covers me basically for everything. So with bringing my extra camera, I've got an extra camera in case that breaks. I have extra microphones. I've got extra backup hard drives. I've got extra batteries. I've got everything I really need to shoot a wedding. The most important thing though is the camera because the camera is what shoots everything. And if you don't have that, you don't get content. So always make sure to have your camera on your person, which is your backpack. That's going to be the most important thing. If you have other stuff that you don't necessarily need for your day of that potentially is okay to not have, I would put that in your Pelican case because that is less important and it makes sure that you have your important stuff. Anything else that doesn't fit in your Pelican case here can probably go in your suitcase if you're checking it. So that could be something like your tripod, which isn't a huge problem if you lose it. You know, my extra tripod, little things like that, that, you know, aren't a huge issue if you lose or don't have on your wedding day to shoot with. Um, you know, my 360 camera batteries, I will always have in my Pelican case and other little batteries like that. Um, the reason I put so many of my batteries in my Pelican case is because they cannot check your Pelican case under the plane if there are a ton of batteries in it. And if your backpack is full, they can't put any of the batteries that are in here 
in your backpack because you don't have room for it. And the reason I don't put a lot of batteries in my backpack, maybe a couple of extra, is because my laptop is going to be in here and that can also not be checked and it has to be in a bag. It can't just be free, free roaming in the plane. So those are kind of the tips and tricks to help you not have to check either of your things that are important to make sure that they go on the plane. I have had some issues in the past, but I literally just go up to them and say, hey, I've got like 40 batteries in here. I over exaggerate, obviously. I can't check this bag because I have no room for these batteries elsewhere. And then they just pick somebody else or they let me put it on the plane anyway. But to avoid this as well, it helps to get a plane ticket that gives you a carry on on the plane. And it's not like the last boarding group. If you get a really cheap plane ticket that's like the last boarding group you sometimes don't get a carry-on and they have like a lot of restrictions where you are more likely to have to have to check your bag if you get those cheaper plane tickets so I'll get into more of the process of booking and planning a destination wedding elopement as a photographer or videographer, but today I wanted to go over kind of how you can pack and plan for the trip so you have enough stuff, you don't lose things, and more. So hopefully this was helpful, and if you have any questions, put it in the comment section down below. Again, this may not be for everybody, but this should give you a good basis as to where to start and what kind of gear to look for. So that's it for this video today, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.